finally made it to Tofino after renting a car and a 12 hour flight delay. It was totally worth it, man. I'm camping out in the car. I didn't get the tent because it's too wet and cold. No way I'm doing that without the heat. I was gonna take the bus here and it was gonna be way cheaper than renting a car out. The bus wasn't scheduled for the day that I needed to be here for. And I needed to make the, the surf class. I wasn't gonna cancel that again. It actually worked out, the fact that I needed the car. Can't stop it. It's pretty amazing. Six kilometers in, let's go. It's been a long time since I've seen the colors of the sunrise breaking at the dawn. It's been a long night on the road to nowhere. But you found me somewhere in the dark. You Editors note, I caught plenty of waves before this day. For some reason, when my friend Gabe came and he decided to point a camera in my face, I couldn't catch waves anymore. Rest assured, I did catch the waves. There is a surf contest going around. <laughs> Sometimes I felt like the island friendliness was lacking a little bit. People I met there were kind of hit or miss. You never knew when you were going to get in a conversation or not. Most people that I talked to were locals and they were quite friendly. It was also busier than I liked it to be. A lot of the times I couldn't find myself enjoying the beach alone. There were just so many people. Still an 8 out of 10. Definitely coming back. I can't see it anyway. <laughs> I'm walking to my cabin. <laughs> Let's go. This, this is the beginning of the Vancouver trip.